The world's second largest economy is back at it again, pushing further towards its goal to be number one. That's right, China, the country already looking to be the world's largest economy, has recently revealed its plans to become the world's most powerful space nation. While we've known that China has pursued space exploration for a while, it's become more of a priority than ever. The country's space program, directed by the China National Space Administration, or CNSA, has existed since the 1950s. That's an incredibly long history for something that much of the world isn't even too familiar with. And that's been China's point. Previously, the country has held back on promises and released information, although they've ironically become more open than ever. As the country becomes more public, we've seen peaks into the China-based CNSA, alongside the China Manned Space Agency. However, things have sped up quickly, with China pushing mission after mission into space. Whether it may be with the country's Tiangong space station, an ISS rival, their far side of the moon probe, or the recent trips into outer space, China's goals keep pushing them closer to their final plans, to make it to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Of course, there's still quite a bit of work, or at least you'd think so. As briefly mentioned a few sentences ago, in 2019, China's Chang'e 4 robot had the first ever soft landing on the far side of the moon. June 2020 brought the final satellite of Beidou, the country's national GPS alternative. And in December 2020, China recovered moon rock samples with Chang'e 5, their first ever lunar recovery. In April, China launched the Tianhe core module, the basis for the eventual Tiangong space station. June had China's first astronaut-led space launch in five years, and it seems like the sudden burst of events isn't slowing down. That same month, the country announced its space plans up to 2025, and these plans are ambitious. During the CNSA's conference, prominent notes included moon-based, interplanetary, and asteroid landings, the construction of the Tiangong Space Station, a state-run national satellite internet system, and oddly enough, heavy launch rockets and reusable space vehicles. Hmm, wonder what that last point might be in response to. Anyway, this is big. China is planning to catch up to everything the combined U.S. government and the country's private aerospace companies have accomplished within just a few years. Plus, it seems China's ready to do whatever it takes, with a boost in funding from $2 billion to over $11 billion. In what's rumored to have been just between a year, the country looks ready to pull out all the stops. However, China isn't waiting until 2025 to start getting things done. They're already there. June 2020. China launched Tianwen-1, the country's first Mars rover. Equipped with an orbiter, lander, and rover, the mission ended with a successful landing on May 14, 2021. Zhurong, the lander's rover, has been on Mars for months, gathering China much-needed information on our red neighbor during their first trip to Mars. As with any Mars rover, China's primary goals were to study the local area, examine soil and ice, survey elements, and sample the atmosphere in plans for a sustainable trip to a moon or planet. And, well, the country has pretty ambitious plans for that, too. All the way back in 2016, the deputy commander of the CMSP announced that China had plans to put a human on the moon by 2036. Notably, he also mentioned the country's need for a powerful rocket, more advanced technology, and even new spacesuits. Now, usually plans like that don't turn around quickly, China in 2016 launched their last crewed spaceflight for five years, yet they still expected to make it to the moon in just 20 years. At the time, news sources reported that China was also planning for a core module of an upcoming space station to launch in 2018, with a permanent station in 2022. Additionally, they mentioned a Mars probe launch in 2020, which would reach the planet's surface in 2021. Sound familiar? If you said yes, you'd be partially correct. While the country was spot on with the Mars landing, they planned three years too soon for the core launch of Tiangong. However, they've prepared for even more moon-related things within the next decade. This time, it includes a Russian-Chinese moon base. Now, that's a little weird to say the least. China plans to put people on the moon by 2036, but wants to set up a moon base with Russia starting in 2030. Plus, it seems they're planning on using the Long March 9, named after China's 1930s Long March campaign. 
Long March 9 is currently being developed as the latest iteration of China's Long March series, designed to be a 103-meter-tall, near 4,000-metric-ton super-heavy launch vehicle. The vehicle, approved by the Chinese government just this year, will be the country's moon-centric rocket of choice. According to the China Daily, experts said China needed a rocket to push a payload of 100 metric tons into low Earth orbit. Interestingly, China's already there. A new revision of the Long March 9 was revealed in June to have around 140 metric tons payload capacity. That also happens to be enough to start toting larger pieces of the country's Tiangong space station to continue building the project. And so, if done correctly, this rocket will be able to push China to the moon. It's honestly that simple. They now have the payload capacity and most of the technology to put a Chinese citizen on the moon. Of course, there's going to be the apparent completion of Long March 9 and the finishing of everything for the country to even put somebody back in space. But still, the same applies to Mars. After China's successful landing of Tianwen-1 and the Zhurong rover, the country already has a decent understanding of a part of the Red Planet. And they're the only nation other than the United States to successfully manage a Mars landing. Even the Soviets' 1971 attempt didn't entirely work. Nonetheless, that leaves us with just China and the United States. Interestingly, but unsurprisingly, they're trying to beat the US too. With another Mars rover planned to launch in 2028, China has additional plans to collect Mars material and bring it back to Earth, potentially before the US's 2031 Perseverance goal, again in the 2030s. As for beyond this target, with China's rival to the International Space Station, goals to put a robot on an asteroid for a 10-year mission, and set up their own Hubble Space Telescope competitor, there's a lot on China's plate. As for how they're going to do it, who knows? The CCP is so secretive about their space missions that most of what they do is a complete surprise, unless you go looking for it. So this sudden barrage of national space accomplishments and goals is quite surprising, although not entirely unexpected. While China and the United States stay locked in a battle of powers for quite a while, you can bet they'll be competing in virtually everything they can. With the public success of SpaceX and the rampant growth of the state's space programs, there's a lot of potential rivalries in the making. Plus, with the commercial space sector accounting for a whopping $262 billion in economy-fueling revenue, there are a few benefits alongside bragging rights if China could capture a larger market share. And a lot is going for the country. They've already managed to launch the core module of an entirely new space station, without most of the world knowing, and plan to have the entire station fully operational by 2023. Plans to launch a national on the moon and eventually on Mars are just the cherries on top. The 10-year robot on an asteroid is the extra cherry on top, whatever the metaphorical form of a cherry on top of a cherry is. And hey, what's that? China also plans to launch its own space-based solar power project, too? That sounds a lot like something our video on Caltech's space-based solar power projects talks about. <laughs> Self-promotion's weird. Anyway, that's a bit further out, though. But again, the first deadline is also 2030s, although the country expects a final commercial system in orbit by 2050. So China's space-based solar power likely isn't as immediately necessary as plans to get to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. So that's where we end off. What do you think? China has quite a few aspirational goals, especially in just over a decade. However, with the recent progress they've shown the world, it might be slightly more aspiration than some Western countries hope. Nonetheless, let us know what you think. Will China become the world's next space superpower? Or will the US and its NASA, SpaceX, and other major space-oriented companies keep American winds rolling? Let us know. And make sure to check out some of our other videos for more context on anything space-related. Until then, see you all next time.